So today I'm going to produce some sulfur dioxide gas. Here's the setup. I have some pieces of copper wire and some sodium hydrogen sulfate in this test tube, which is connected to this, where there's a piece of a marshmallow peat and a couple flower petals. It will be heated by this alcohol burner. Here's the sodium hydrogen sulfate. Now, I'm going to be begin heating this, and shortly it will begin to produce gas. Now, as you can see, the salt is melted and is, and is starting to produce gas, which will then travel down this tube and hopefully bleach what's inside. Now, as you can see, the solution is starting to turn green from the copper and it dissolves salt. The gas is starting to enter the tube, and soon we should have some results. Now, it has all turned green and is now trying to start and turn blue around the chunks of copper. I'm pretty sure this is because copper sulfate is forming. So far, everything down here looks the same. So now our reaction is complete. As you can see, it's now all copper sulfate. It is apparently magically turned blue. Now in here, every, the rose petal seems lighter now, so we have a bleaching effect. If you can compare it with a fresh rose petal, you can see the difference. So now, as you can see, there's a large difference between the rose petals that have been bleached by sulfur dioxide and a regular rose petal. This is because sulfur dioxide breaks down most natural plant dyes. So it can also be used as a bleaching agent for other things. Now sulfur dioxide is poisonous, so if you do try to perform this experiment, it must be done outside. Pretty cool, huh?